What's the biz, YouTube? You tuned in to the one and only JC from McKnight Mayhem, man. Just got to do a quick run errand for my wife. You know, happy wife, happy life. So, taking a trip to nap this morning to make sure my people come in safe. We got to turn this thing on. Saying. Catch the ride. Things might be eventful, things might not be. But for right now, we're just riding the beginning of the trip. I gotta be there. We're at like 10 15, man. So, as you know, it's pretty early in this side of the woods. I'm in trying to, you know what I'm saying? That's just a line. I don't know, man. Look, my belly was big. It's like, hey, man, you know, I ain't nothing but a teddy bear, but hey. So right, worried about what y'all say. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, get my big goat missing the top though, so I gotta be careful on these highway curves. But uh, we ride, man. Got like an hour fifteen, about an hour and fifteen minute drive. So you know, rock with your boy on the journey. Come along, man. Let's figure out turn this on, man. Just. Don't really get on the camera by myself uh, without the family, unless I'm like cooking or messing around with hobbies. Then recently got into uh, RCs. That's just something to do other than video, man. Keep you outside the house, bro. Me and the kids. Chill, man. Sitting here, creating our own brand, doing our own thing. The ground up, this whole big like my hand thing, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, God brought that, brought this into fruition, man. All, all my life, all, only thing I ever did was work for other people, like. And I guess in a way you can say that's working for yourself. But I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? Like you remember career days in high school, the things people would tell you what they wanted to do. Like I always wanted to work for myself, embody me. Embrace everything that, that, that I am about me. Cause people gonna people gonna throw hate at you all the time. Just cause most of the time they ain't happy with themselves. They trying to figure it out. And they know that you they they see your glow before you see Leroy. your glow. They try and they try and extinguish that. They try and they try and burn your fuse out before you even get a chance to, to even get going good. So Yeah man, I just was like I woke up and I was at work on break and I, I seen a young YouTuber. I can't remember what I was searching for for YouTube. It's probably like game codes or something. Cause you know, you work work nine, ten hours a day for somebody else. You come home, you play with your kids, and then you talk or chill with your wife, and then you wanna have something to do for your own free time, your ease of mind. Like a few hours a night play the game. Even that can become tedious when you when you when your mind is always working. Even even in little times where you're supposed to be relax, real relaxing, that can become tedious and a strain on you, man. And like God put this in my spirit, so I stumbled across this dude. Nice house, plenty whips. Uh, about like ten years younger than I am. I was like, well, man, I mean, I know he couldn't have got all this from YouTube, Like, he got to do something else other than this. You got to provide some type of, you know what I'm saying, product and service to, to see wealth, right? No. I mean, the only, the, the, the service he's providing is a source of entertainment for somebody, but as far as inventing and having a product, no, the product is his brand. Just like, I don't know, 20 or 30 other people I've seen on YouTube. I mean, and then you got millions of people doing it on YouTube who are not successful. So what make these other people different is because, you know what I'm saying, they putting some content in there, doing something different than the next one. To be, uh, my camera went down. You see, I'm not even focused on the camera. I'm just focused on the conversation. <clears throat> but are they doing something really different than you? And the question is, honestly, no. But God didn't touch them. 
and open up their eyes to this source of income and this source of company that you got to strike while the, the, the iron is hot and continue pumping out you no matter what. A lot of times, you got, yeah, you got millions of people doing it, but everybody don't want to put in that work to get to that final goal. And a lot of people be like, it ain't about the money because you know what I'm saying? You, I'd do it if it wasn't uh, about the money. And then you see, you be like, nah, you lying. Get out of here with that boy. Like, it's all about the money. And you're right, it is about the money. It's about happiness, it's about success, it's about wealth. But would you do it if you if you wouldn't get paid for it? Hell yeah, because you gotta start out somewhere, right? You open the doors of a company. I mean, unless you got unless you got a hell of a product and you got plenty of investors, as soon as you open the door, you ain't making no money, right? You open the door, you lose. As soon as you open the doors, you lose the money until you get that first purchase. So all your invest, all your hard work, all your leg work, will you do something? If, it, if, it, if, it, if uh, you wasn't getting paid in the beginning, well, hell yeah, because you got to do it. You're not going to get paid in the beginning. You got to go out there and get what, what you want in life, no matter what's the cost. But the, 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 the thing is, you got to invest in it. You got to invest you. You got to invest your time, your effort, and your paper. Like, nobody gave me no paper to go out and get a camera. Nobody gave me no paper to go out and get my uh, editing equipment. Nobody gave me no paper to go out and get my computer. I got this all on, on my own, on the strength. God put this in me to, to have faith. Stand up, man. Like, uh, if you know me, some of y'all may know the journey of me. Going out, me and my fam going out, we going out, and I, I was I was attempting to do my music thing. And the problem is, I was trying. I didn't see that I was in it. I was in it. I was already doing it. I just had to take that process, that process going from the bottom to the top. A lot of the problem is the impatience, the impatience of our people, the impatience of just people in general. They want something and they, they want to see that return on it right then and now. Like, hell, if I buy a house for 200000 I can't wake up tomorrow and expect to make two seventy five. How? Nothing's happened. Everything is... is uh, Everything takes a process. And if you ain't willing to trust that process and go along with that journey, you're not, you not doing the right thing anyway. Like I'm willing to take the, the losses and the wins. Like I'm willing to I'm willing to go for mine. And I know in the end, me and my family gonna be straight, not just the ones that live underneath my roof. Like I'm trying to have a compound, man. Make my industries. I told my mama that when I was a senior in high school. Like I wasn't gonna work for nobody else. I was gonna make my industries. I spent 20 years of my life working for other people. I've been working since I was 14, man. I worked in high school. In high school, like at the high school cafeteria. Like, I, I've been putting in work, man. Yeah, like, and a lot of people want to praise, like, and I guess the reason I got on here, man, is because just to, to share with y'all, and to, you know, you see things in the news and the stories, but nobody ever, I feel like, breathes positivity, breathes life. And, and saying and doing something like, hey, I'm from the bottom. People talk about how they from the gutter, nah, bro. Like, like, like when we was from, sewer. Like, straight up, sewer. If, if you know what I'm saying, sewer, sewer. I, I, I'm not from New York, you know what I'm saying? 219, Gary, Indiana, sewer, man. Rats, alligators, swamp things. They get real nasty and good out there. It ain't made for the weak. Never have been. You make it out of that, you're doing something right, no matter how you make it out of that. And I feel like that's the problem with us, man. We want to down somebody for what? The next man is doing instead of being proud. Be happy for somebody. Pride is a sin anyway. But you should be happy for your man, man. You should be happy for the next person to make it. Because that means, look, if they could do it, what, what, what's so different about them than you? Y'all all coming from the same spot. Y'all made from the same thing, man. It's just that sometimes you cut from a better cloth. But sometimes you got to figure out a way to invent your own cloth. Dead. Like, I ain't letting nobody stop me or tell me where I need to be or where I need to go at. You can keep your opinions to yourself. Well, actually, let me know it. Because, you know, I ain't nothing wrong with some, um, uh, what is it? Not creative thinking, but uh, creative criticism. And that's not the word that I want to critique it. No. 
it's, it's a word that I want to use, but I can't even find it. But it's, it's, it's all, it's, it's cool to critique, but where you coming from when you critiquing me? And don't try and critique me because you mad at what I'm doing. And don't critique me because you can't see, well, you can't see my vision. And that's cool. Like, I understand, like, I feel like I've been doing a practical thing forever. I always told my mama I felt like I wasn't going to do nothing practical. I'm, I'm trying not to curse as much. I wasn't, I wasn't going to do nothing practical. And look, look what practicality has gotten me. You know what I'm saying? I love my family. And I, ain't, I wouldn't trade my life in for nothing. Because everything that I've been through make me who I am today. But I know I'm not meant. I ain't meant to walk with another man's shoes. And I ain't meant to clock in on another man's clock no more. I did that for a long time. I did that for a real long time. I got a big house for it. My kids, my kids is cool, but that college ain't paid for. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the thing you when, when you come from where I come from in the era I come from in, you want your kids to be better than what you was. And I ain't saying that I was raised with I I we I, I'm saying I am from we that's what but I mom you know, hey, saying these kids, ask about them. You know what I'm saying? Ask about this. My mama ain't, and my mama, my mama ain't letting us run the streets of no bull. Boy, I was never worried about another mug in the street because my mama was a G. My mama would. She, hey, bro, my mama so gangster, she'd beat you down and push 9-1 and dare you to call and dare you to press the warrant. My mama, I, like I said, I'm trying to stop cursing, man, but this is just a interpersonal vlog me talking, man. My mama used to tell us the shit, not the cowboy shit out of this. I don't even know what that is to this day. I don't know what the cowboy shit is, but I still don't want to find out. You know what I'm saying? People in the streets said couldn't touch my mom, but we was born in the hood in the gutter, like Hovey Street. We couldn't leave Hovey Street. Seventh and Hovey, we rode our bikes up and down Seventh and Hovey. We got to go somewhere we went to my grandmama house. Seventh and Hovey Street, that's where you rode your bike in. Go to your Uncle Bam's house, you get a little more free reign there, but here, it's still jungle, but Bam was known, you know what I'm saying? Nobody want to mess with Uncle Bam neither. I guess what I'm just saying is, man, I'm trying to break my, I, I, I really, I've gotten off of like, I'm talking because I said that God brought me here. God did brought me, bring me here. And what I'm saying is I feel like God brought me here to bring positivity and a light and to show y'all, man, just because you from the hood, just because you in that environment, you don't have to breathe that. You can stop that. It's a lot of young people out here dying. A lot of young people out here getting shot, making millions of dollars, getting killed. 